Today we are breaking down what combi boilers are. If you've been looking into tankless water heaters, you've likely came across combination boilers, or combi boilers for short. While tankless water heaters and combi boilers are similar in some ways, they are still worlds apart in many ways. Stay tuned to find out how these units work. <laughs> for over 15 years, Monkey Wrench has served the greater Los Angeles area by installing and servicing tankless water heaters and combi boilers. In that time, we've learned this hardware inside and out. Now we're passing some of that knowledge to you. Hey, if you're new to this channel, we post about all things plumbing, heating, and air. So consider subscribing as we're always adding fresh content. Now, let's get into it. In this video, we'll break down what a combi boiler is, how it works, and who a combi boiler would be good for. In simple terms, a combi boiler provides hot water in the same way a tankless water heater does, but it also handles heating your home if you have hydronic heating. And to clarify, hydronic heating is a type of heating system that uses hot water to distribute heat throughout your home. The hot water is typically circulated through pipes in floors, walls, or ceilings, and then radiates heat into the surrounding space. Combi boilers are only an option if you have hydronic space heating. While combi boilers resemble tankless water heaters, this dual design makes them fundamentally different. To understand how a combi boiler works, we'll first have to take note of some key components. Combi boilers feature a dual heat exchanger design. The dual heat exchangers are responsible for heating water for both domestic hot water and space heating, while the stainless steel flat plate mixes domestic hot water for home use. Let's break it down step by step, starting with how a combi boiler handles water heating. A combi boiler works to heat water with the following process. The boiler will turn on once hot water is needed at a fixture, meaning the fuel source will enter the combustion chamber and ignite. If you are running hydronic heating and call for hot water, the combi boiler halts heating your home and prioritizes providing hot water. The heat generated will warm the heat exchangers, then the heat exchangers heat the cold water. The water then passes through the stainless steel flat plate, which mixes the water for the home, ensuring the temperature is safe. Hot water then travels through your plumbing to the fixture. In this way, combi boilers are similar to tankless water heaters, providing you with hot water on demand. Some combi boilers also have a preheat capability, a small chamber where water is kept at a set temperature to provide you with more immediate hot water. Now, let's check out how combi boiler handles general heating. If your thermostat detects a drop in temperature, it will signal the combi boiler to turn on. The boiler will turn on just like it did in our breakdown of how combi boilers heat water. The dual heat exchangers then heat the water. Hot water is pumped throughout your hydronic heating system. Once the water cools, it returns to the combi boiler through a separate line where it is heated by the boiler once again. This process continues until your thermostat detects your home has reached a set temperature. Sounds pretty great, right? But there are still a few things to consider before you go all in on a combi boiler. Let's dive deeper into what a combi boiler is ideal for and for who it might not be so practical for. As with any investment, you might be asking yourself, is a combi boiler right for me? The only person that can really answer that is you and your family. But there are a couple of key reasons why a combi boiler may or may not be right for you. Let's take a look. Combi boilers don't heat water and space simultaneously. Because of their core design, combi boilers can't heat water and your home simultaneously. If you're using combi boilers to heat your home and need to access hot water, it will stop heating air, but keeps its fan running while switching gears into heating water. This type of design may not work for every home type, ideal for smaller homes. Combi boilers are not typically recommended for larger homes in our experience because the loss of heat when space heating is cut is greater than that of a smaller home with less square footage to heat. Simply put, it takes a long time to heat a large space compared to a smaller one. Ideal for space saving with a two-in-one design. Going hand in hand with being ideal for a smaller home is the space saving factor of a combi boiler. Because combi boilers handle both space heating and water heating, it eliminates the need for a standalone boiler or a separate water heater. While the higher upfront investment won't be worth it for those who don't need space heating on top of water heating, it can be more cost effective than upgrading a boiler and a tankless water heater separately. As we mentioned before, this decision is one specific to you and your home. Whether investing in a combi boiler for your home is worth it or not will rest solely on what you need and see fit. 
After touching on what a combi boiler is and how it works and who it might be best for, you should have a firm grasp on basics of combi boilers. While combi boilers may not be for everyone, staying informed will help you search for the best water and space heating options for your home. If you found any of the information in this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date with future videos.